Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and I have a question for you. Are you using Facebook groups right now to build an audience? If so, I want to teach you two simple strategies that can help you build your email list while using your Facebook group simultaneously. So the reason you need to be building an email list in this day and age of social media is that it is your number one asset and you don't know what Facebook might be doing. It might They might shut your account down for no apparent reason. I had a really good friend of mine, a couple, who are really big internet marketers, six-figure earners, who got their Facebook account shut down for 30 days. They couldn't post. They couldn't um, go into their Facebook group. They couldn't do anything on Facebook. F Facebook literally shut them out because they put an emoji in a comment section that Facebook found offensive. And the emoji was just a sheep. So that raises to me that, you know, the importance of building an email list. The other thing you have to understand, your group members, those aren't your leads. They don't belong to you. They belong to Facebook. Any Facebook friends, followers, members in a group, they all belong to Facebook. And so if Facebook decides to shut you down, how are you going to get connect with those people? Okay, so that's why you need to build a list. And the savvy marketers out there are doing it with Facebook groups in these two ways. First way is when you are setting up your Facebook group, there is a spot in the settings where you can ask questions to people before they uh, join the group. So when they request to join the group, they have to answer some questions before you approve them. And so you can make some of these, some of the questions required. And one of the questions should be, and it should be one of the first two questions you ask. And that should be, what is your best email address? That way, in case something goes on with Facebook, I have a way to communicate with you. Okay? Very, very important. I want to give you another story with this, why this is so powerful, is I have a very good friend of mine. Uh, Diane Hockman, she was a, she's a seven figure earner in the home business industry. A couple weeks ago, she was knocked out flat on her back in the, in the intensive care unit with COVID. And she couldn't communicate with her Facebook groups. The only strength she had was to write to her email list. So she makes sure that people who are in her groups are on her email list. And that way, people could find out what was going on. So make sure in your in your Facebook settings when people before people join the group they have to answer some questions and they have to give you their email address. The second way you can do this is that what if I already have an established group and I haven't set up the questions? Here's where tip number 2 comes into play. With tip number 2 what you want to do is put up at the pinned, you know, a pin post. It's called a Facebook announcement right now. And you want to put, you know, usually in your announcements, you usually have like the rules for the group. You may want to put also in that announcement that you that uh, you have a email list and um, and invite people to join your email list. And you can say something along the lines that, hey. I'm setting up an email list in the event Facebook goes, you know, Facebook gets shut down or Facebook, you know, something happens with Facebook, technology makes Facebook go down. Or, you know, if something happens here and our group gets shut down, I have a way to communicate with you. When you are putting that announcement out, make sure you put in the call to action that they private message you their email address. Okay, don't have them put it in the comments section. And the reason for that is that, you know, as much as you try to keep the integrity of the group and make it a sacred place, you might get some bad apples in there who will be like, oh, if people are putting their email address out, I'll just add them to my newsletters and I can follow up and spam, and spam them with my opportunity. You don't want that to happen. 
okay you know the whole basis of building an email list it's it's called permission based marketing so when people are giving you their email uh, address that means they're saying yes to be hearing from you so make sure you put that in the call to action in the Facebook announcement to have them private message you with their email address and then you, you're just going to manually add those people to your email autoresponder. So if you're using Aweber, which is what I use, Aweber has an app called Aweber Adam. You can manually add those people through the app, or you can go through the back office of your autoresponder, and they will have a feature where you can manually add subscribers. This is the way to do it where you can bypass having them go to another website. And I would say, and I would strongly suggest when you're doing Facebook groups, don't point them uh, to a, uh, a web page for them to enter in the information. That's just an extra step. You want to keep it where, you know, you're seeing the emails and you want to add them. Now, Here's the other thing when you are doing it with the questions. It's very important before you accept someone that you get their email address and then you have like a separate spreadsheet and put their email addresses in that spreadsheet before you upload it because once you approve someone to be in your group, you're not going to be able to see that email. So make sure that you are, you know, when you're getting those requests, you know, copy that email put it in a in a spreadsheet and then when you're going to upload those emails to your autoresponder so there you have it i hope you got value today from this let me know in the comment section what your biggest takeaway is and make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, for my youtube channel and to hit the bell, the notification button, that little red bell you see there, because that will let YouTube, YouTube will let you know when I'm putting a new video out. So finally, if you want more tips and strategies on how to build a business working part-time, head over to my website at drlisamthompson.com. I have great resources for you, as well as you can also subscribe to my free newsletter where I will show you how I was able to pay off my bills, my medical bills working only part time. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.